Welcome back to the channel. My name is Carm Finn. Today, we're going to talk about the hybrid attack strategy. I know the Royal Ghost has been used a lot. I've been using it quite a bit since the event. There's still another five days left of this, but we're going to talk about really what makes hybrid strong and what to look out for. Let's take a look at a base right now. There's nothing on this, but when you do it, a hybrid attack, you want to create a funnel essentially like this, like an hourglass shape. Why? Because you want to try to get the hybrid to move down this alley. And then in the middle here is when you pop your war internal tome. So as they get to the core, then the warden ability protects them as they shoot out of this. It could be either like this way, like this hybrid comes through, or it could be like this, right? And then in between is the hybrid to go like this. I know it's really difficult to kind of understand at this point, but it'll make a little bit more sense. So let's say we have the, this shape on the base. How do we have to create a funnel on this side and on this side? So this could be like the queen grabs this, the king grabs this, or a blimp grabs that, something along those lines. But you want to kind of make that shape. So when we're looking at a base like this, let's try to make that shape, right? So we can either make the shape like this, we can make the shape like this over here, like this over here. But what we want to do is think about making the shape. So when we when we have hybrid, so right now we have the blimp. So we can have a difference between either the blimp with the yetis in here, or we can go siege barracks with the hogs. Siege barracks with the hogs is a lot stronger, especially when you're planning out wars. But when you're in Legend League, you don't know, right? You don't know what base you're going to find if the town hall is in the middle. But we may switch it up to a siege barracks with hogs. So let's take a look at this base. So notice where the town hall is. It's on the top side. So what if we send the queen into the town hall? So, okay. So if we send the queen into the town hall, grabs this stuff right here, right? So the queen grabs all that. Boom, boom, boom. So let's say we drop the king and he's supposed to run over here to grab this section. So now look at what we have. So let me go and draw a different color. So now this could be our funnel like this. Do you see how this is set up? So the king is clearing this side, the queen's clearing this side, and then in between goes your hybrid. So as the king clears this, you can also drop a siege barracks to help assist that king. So there we go. So this is the shape that we now make. So if the queen grabs this, the king grabs this, and then when you pop the warden ability right here as, this, as they are exiting this shape right through here. So bam, warden ability is protected, right? So you gotta make sure you get your miners down the warden down, the hogs down, the royal champion, all the way through here to push like that. So let's get, go ahead and give it a shot with the siege barracks hogs. So we're gonna go and drop this queen up top. And we're gonna switch this to the siege barracks. So, okay, so queen's up here. We're gonna try to charge her into the town hall to try to push her way through there. Let's drop a wizard to help funnel her. And when you can get the queen to charge exactly where you want, so get a town hall, pull out a clan castle, that is critical. Pulling that CC out early, is very important so let's go and drop the rage for this queen especially through two headhunters you definitely want to do that and let's go and drop the poison spell right here and this is why we have actually one minion in the army i'll link also drop the link to this army down in the comment section or the video description down below this is why we got the minion exactly for these lava puffs okay so queen is making her way through here. We can go ahead and drop like a balloon and a baby dragon like this. And then we can loop the king, go up to the archer tower and down and around. Okay, so this queen is stepping in, taking this town all down. So king's going to come around and only goes to this archer tower. And then he moves his way down here and grabs the enemy queen. Beautiful. Oh, my, the enemy queen is behind a wall, which is unfortunate. Let's go and rage this queen. You're going to have to rage the queen up, especially pop that king ability. Uh, drop two balloons on this mortar if you go near a town hall. So now here we go. You gotta drop the miners, then you drop the warden, then you drop the hogs, and then the royal champion, right? So now we're pushing our way through so we can heal up over the scatter. Let's go ahead and drop, uh, we could, should we rage up the core? You know what? Why not? Let's go and rage up straight into the middle, and let's go and pop that war and tunnel tone protects all this. Queen's ability is gonna have to be used, and now look at this raged up hog straight through the core through here. There is the multi-target infernal. Let's go ahead and do that. The queen's ability is up, moving our way through. Hogs getting towards this eagle artillery. We do have one more balloon as well. Uh, Royal champ, we got some freezes. Let's go ahead and use a freeze on the back and scatter. And look at this value. Let's go ahead and drop the super wall break right there as we're pushing our way around. We can drop a freeze onto this ground next to wizard tower, just like that. So you saw what the funnel was, right? So we were able to push our way through and we even have a, a pop the RC ability 
we don't even need it. We can drop a wizard, dro drop a few archers like that. And look at this. So the queen grabbed that. She's actually stuck on the top side, but this was the funnel, right? So the king grabbed this, and then the Pekkas helped move their way through here. So this was kind of the funnel that we were able to set and push our way through. So this is what you really want to think about when you do hybrid, when you're using the siege barracks. But in Legends, I tend to bring a blimp with a yetis because I don't know if the town hall is in the middle to at least secure the two. For this base, we have a single target inferno behind the town hall plus the clan castle. So trying to charge into this would be a nightmare. So that's why we've made a change of taking potentially two invisibility spells. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and let's see. So we'll start off with the queen, right? Drop a balloon, drop the queen here, drop two balloons, really kind of protect this area, see if we can pull some sea air mines. Granted, I didn't drop the healers right off the bat. So what we want to do is charge this queen up and around into the town hall to help take this down. And then if we set a funnel like this, so, or more, more like this, we can then push all the troops straight in, which means we need to funnel something over here. And that's where the king and the siege barracks come in, right? So let's drop the healers onto this queen. Let's drop a wizard over here to help kind of funnel this queen straight to this town hall. Unicorn will be going down to the town hall, but since we're dropping these healers way higher up, they're not in range of the town hall here. So let's see. So down goes the town hall, and this is where we have to be very accurate with this invisibility spell. So there's a rage. We're going to wait once this hound comes over, then we're going to drop the invisibility spell. So the queen will now lock onto the onto this. Do another invisibility spell for the queen. Let's do a rage and takes out this in, uh, single target inferno. And there we go. Let's go and drop a poison spell. So they're beautiful. So we were able to take that down. Let's drop the king and the siege barracks all the way over here. And we can drop a minion, which is for the lava hound once it pops. The king's actually going inside. Drop a minion there. King comes back around, super wall break down here. And then let's drop, we do have two more balloons. Let's, we could even drop another super wall break like this. Let's go and rage this queen up through that and hybrid our way to the top side. King ability, warden, RC, and the hogs. I mean, I did the RC a little bit early there, but either way, let's see. So we're moving our way through. Let's drop two balloons. Let's go and super wall break down here. Let's go and drop the heal. All right. We don't have any more um, rage spells or anything for the, for the push through. Let's see. So we got the War Internal Tome, which we'll drop right about... Not yet. Not yet. Warden ability will be used now here to protect everything. And the Queen's ability is going to have to be used. Let's go and heal up, leading over to the Bomb Tower. We do have that one free spell. One more Super Wall Break. And did you guys pay attention when I dropped the Hybrid? Did I drop it about a minute and 30 left in the raid? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. That's what you want to pay attention to. Let's see, the queen. Oh, the queen does go down here. So let's drop a wizard up top. And now let's go and drop a free spell right on down here for that multi. Let's go and drop a super wall break like this. Let's drop some maybe archers like that. Hogs, miners are up top and around. RC and our ability. It takes out the multi target inferno. Not too much left. The royal champ. We have a handful of miners. And this was close. We took quite a bit of time through that charge on the top side. Miners taking out the archer tower. But you saw, we created the funnel on the top side with the queen. And then we created the funnel on the bottom side with the king and the siege barracks to be able to get the triple. So you really want to think about both sides. So that's with the siege barracks. So now let's just do some attacks potentially with the blimp in Legends since we can't really plan those hits. Now we're in Legends League and we've got a ring base. So we've got the blimp and we obviously can't choose our CC. So let's keep in mind the key points. A minute and a half at least when you want to get the hyper down but this is with the town hall in the middle so we've got ground 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 expos four of them that are right towards this section right over here we got an eagle multi so if we are able to get the queen to go like this the problem is we have the cc that's up so if we have the hybrid going like this around and blimp the town hall all right well either way let's go and drop the queen like this so we're going to kind of figure out where this queen wants to go Let's drop the healers onto her. Will she walk this way into here, or will she walk this way into there? I guess I will find out. Looks like she's going to walk down south. So if we end up wall breaking right here, she will walk in, but then she just might reroute, and she might go back up. You never know with these queens, you know? All right, so queen's taking quite a bit of damage here. Let's rage her up, try to keep her alive. Taking on this archer tower. Now she's going back up. 
Nope, she's going back down. Guys, I'm telling you, you never know with the queen. All right, so we got all these ground expos that are like this. Okay, so a little less firepower onto her. Let's drop two balloons like this and drop another one. So a baby dragon down here. So this is going to kind of help funnel us a little bit. Um, let's see, so this is going like that. So we're going to rage up this queen and her healers again. We got super minions through here. I'm going to drop a poison spell. Rage is still lasting through these headhunters just like this. So let's actually drop a super wall break and drop this king over here because we want to help. Okay, so the queen can reach over the wall. She just can't grab the multi-target inferno. Oh my goodness. So let's go and freeze these double X clothes like this. And we're going to go ahead. Do we have another rage? Oh, I don't have another rage. Um, so I'm going to see these healers are going to get hit. So the super wall break to try to bust through here. King ability. And let's try to do another super wall break through here. Or if I want to drop it. So we do wall break this. And freeze this multi. And let's go and heal the healers, guys. We're healing the healers. Healing the healers. Queen's ability still intact. Let's go and make you invisible. So, okay. So there we go. She's walking her way around. Let's go. We got a minute and six seconds. Oh, I'm way late. I'm way late here. So we're going to go ahead and try to drop the royal champ. Drop the hogs. The queen ability right through here. And let's go and try to blimp this compartment like that. Bam! Let's land. Queen's taking out the town hall. Let's do an invis. Let's do a heal right through here. Hogs making their way through. Oh, rip. Okay, so lost a lot of the hog riders to this compartment in this area. Let's see. We're making our way through this. Pop the war internal tome right about now. Drop a minion. Drop a wizard here. Drop some ar an archer like this. As we continue our push around, there is the defending king. Drop some more archers. More wizards. Oh, man. 25 seconds. Is this just going to be time? RC's making her way through. Boom. Pop her ability. Skips across. Damages a little bit. And like I say, a minute and a half is when you want to get your hybrid down. But it's rain bases. That can be quite annoying. Queen is going to make her way through the scatter. Seven seconds. She should stay alive. And we're going to time fail. I knew it. I started the hybrid too late down. That goes 98%. Ah, uh, healed by healers. I just couldn't reach that multi-target inferno. That was a little awkward there, especially with all those ground expos. Now, for our last attack that we're going to do here is against this anti-two-star base. Uh, I've definitely seen something maybe similar. Eh, well, the eagle's near the town hall here, so a lot of area near the town hall. Is there a Tesla farm off to the right side, potentially? I was thinking maybe over there, but... Uh, if we do drop the blimp, and let's say we drop the blimp to pull the clan castle, take out this multi-target inferno, we try to walk the queen here, 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 here to the core. I just don't think it'll be possible, but you know what? Let's try it. Here we go with the blimp. We're going to land, pull the CC out, which is critical, and let's go and rage. Okay, inside of this CC is going to be the super minions. I'm going to drop the poison spell here because I think those super minions should last, should stay there long enough that okay let's see the super minions oh let's try to push them back into the poison there's the headhunter super minion die die in the side of the poison just keep them moving back and forth here and let's drop the queen okay so there's one left drop the balloon and let's drop our healer super minions are gone very nice super wall break like this okay so the queen should step her way up in towards this air defense we can drop this king so he can run up and around so that we can wall break the king into this multi, maybe? Uh, let's see, if we wall break this king into here, we wall break the queen into there, drop a baby dragon, balloon, baby dragon, two more balloons to charge into here, pop this king ability. So he's running around here, but he's gonna make his way through there, rage up the queen, let's super wall break. Okay, so we do wall break this scatter shot. Try to give the queen access in towards the core to the town hall. So the multi-target inferno doesn't go down. So we're going to drop the royal champ to help try to grab that. And then continue this queen charging in. Okay, and then we'll drop the hybrid through there. Queen's ability has to go off because I'm about to lose her. Drop that. It's going to make the queen invisible through here. And there she is. So she's invisible. Hybrid's pushing its way through. Let's go and drop a heal through here. Let's drop a headhunter like this. It's going to freeze up the enemy RC through that queen and let's go and pop the warden internal tome right about uh not yet now to protect them through that eagle as we're pushing our way around we got some teslas the queen is hanging out let's go and drop a heal through the next bomb tower 
We got an archer tower that's around the corner. We got one freeze left. The queen staying alive. Got that value through there. Okay, that queen, by her charging her way towards the core, was huge. She's going to drop a freeze onto this multi and the archer tower, which not only helps protect the queen, but also these hogs as they make their way around. And look at this. We can drop a minion. Uh, can't drop that over there. Royal Champ is trying to push her way through. So we got one, two, three, four. A handful of defenses on the backside. But that RC should clutch up a lot of this. They are... Queen is... Let's pop the RC ability. Skips across onto these final buildings. And there we go. So we pushed the Queen in. She made her way through there. And it would have... Like the blimp pulling that clan castle was critical to be able to help deal with it nice and early otherwise, if you don't deal with that CC early, you know what's going to happen. The queen deals within the court. She goes down fast, but we get the three star here. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video with the hybrid. I know there has been a lot of the Royal Ghost. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below for the daily content. See you guys tomorrow.